Hey, Shalom, Makim. All praise is glory and honor to you. How about Shim? Yahweh Shabbat Shim. Bracha Kordash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, salutations to you, sincere Akim out there pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. And, um, yeah, he uploaded another one. And uh, this is Second Timothy three and fourteen, because we understand that the things that we have received, you know, are very important. The scriptures say, "Every goodly gift coming from heaven, or every good gift, rather, excuse me, you know, including the understanding of the chart." which is through the spirit, but is mentioned in the scriptures. Now, that's one thing I noticed about, you know, and let's get to the scriptures where it talks about the chart. This is real quick. This is second Timothy 3 and 14, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Yahweh Shah Mashiach. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for doctrine, for reproach, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. And yeah, the, the, the 12 tribes chart. Which the Lord did give to uh, Elder Ariah is something you receive through the Spirit. And no, not every Israelite is going to be um, exactly what they're supposed to be. But this is Ezekiel 37. And we're going to keep, you know, hitting this point until the kingdom. You know, because because they don't they don't understand. You know, and I've seen uh, a couple of twelve tribes sign. People have done their own version and tried to throw their own breakdown in. Excuse me, or throw their own um, descriptions of who each tribe is. Like as the scriptures mention uh, these different tribes, which have men of the elect of them in Revelation seven. So some, you know, somebody's going to receive that those, those crowns in Revelation seven for the tribes of Israel. All right, but Christians have not received it. Christians were not given this, and now uh, this man has lied his ass off. Talking about Aria, just put that out there. Um, you know, it's thought provoking. And look, man, this is Ezekiel 37 and 15. And the, the word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions. Then take another stick and write upon it. For Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions. All right, now this this comes a time right after verse 14. And shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. 
And that hasn't happened yet. And that should, we know it didn't happen to the people who are in the state of Israel right now. <laughs> All right, then shall ye know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, said the Lord. The word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man. And the thing is, this is the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, all on one trot. All right, one stick, one piece of wood, the northern king on another piece of wood, boom. And join them one to another into one stick, and they shall become one in thy hand. And that's ultimately what it's a representation of. All right, the, our, uh, the, the, the house of Israel coming back together. The divisions being sewn up. All right, which amongst all you niggas, you know, of course, they're not going to like each other. But for the elect, we're, we're going to all be agreed, one mind, one body. All going to see eye to eye. And this is one of the reasons why it's so controversial. Because since, um, you know, thousands of years ago, we split up. We've never been back together. You know, even when we were, like the scriptures say, was it uh, Jeremiah 50 and 33, one of our favorite precepts, says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel are the, and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. And here we are in America being squeezed, held together by this fucking piece of shit, uh, lowlife Esau. And uh, you simple, you simple Israelites, you still don't want to acknowledge. Here it is. You and your brothers are oppressed. All right, up here in Chicago, they didn't brought the they didn't brought all these uh, people from Central America and South America. You know. Venezuela being in South America, but then also with them, they got Colombians, they got Ecuadorians, they got um, a bunch of other people too who were like, oh shit, I'm about to jump up here too. You know, you have a lot of them as well. And so here it is, y'all being oppressed together. And this is why they fight the side so hard because. It gives um, it gives uniformity. All right, the scriptures talk about a threefold core. You know, they 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 never wanted to see so-called black, so-called Native American, so-called Latinos work together. They they have always fought for us to be divided. They've always fought for us to to, to all be um, at the bottom, but they better be divided if they're going to be at the bottom. They better not like each other. Uh, let's throw the little gang shit in there. Let's um, make sure that animosity is always there. This is verse eight seventeen. And join them one to another to one stick and they shall become one in thy hand. And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Will thou not show us what thou meanest by these? Say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the, the tribes of Israel, his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they shall be one in mine hand. And the sticks whereon thou writest shall be in thine hand before thy, their eyes. And that's exactly what's going on. Now, all these things of Ezekiel 37, these bones. Right? In this this valley. It's a valley full of bones. Right? The valley of shadow of death, which is here in Babylon. And these bones, the Lord has, has breathed life in them again. Alright, because the scriptures talk about the heathen. <laughs> they, 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 they walk in the, the congregation of the dead. All right, he tell you the heathen go down to the grave. He said they are, uh, they are, but men. But us, they say you are, you are, gods, but you should die like a man. You should die like men. 
right? So the Lord always had a breathe life into us, but now um, he's doing the same thing again. And the reason that he told us is for, for, for people to see it and for them to be able to associate themselves with uh, whichever tribe that they're blessed to be. This is verse 19. Say it to them, Thus saith the Most High, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph. I read that, so like it. Let me read verse 20. And the sticks whereon thou writest shall be in thine hand before their eyes, and say it unto them, Thus saith the Most High, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, which is not happened yet. And so that's what we're doing. We're using this sign while we're among the heathen until the Lord raises us up. But we understand the Israelites being called out of their final captivity, the final act of salvation. That's when all this prophecy is going to happen. All right, that's when World War III is going to happen. You know, it talks about the elect. That's when, um, you know, martial law in America is going to happen, the destruction of this place, the market. All these things happen around the time of the salvation of the elect in, in the end days. <laughs> you know, and this is where I understand the prophecy, because you can tell uh, a lot of the, the uh, London camps, not talking about the Great Millstone Brothers, but a lot of these London camps, like he, he called them out, they had two different signs, two different 12 tribe signs. All right, that's another thing, too. That's why I read 2 Timothy 3 and 14, because we have to understand, hey, look, the elder Ariel was given the revelation of this sign for a reason. You know, and a lot of these other groups, they have little personal, the, whatever issues or, or whatever they were told by whatever off branch that they are, which, you know, in my opinion, you have too many off branches because, you know, everybody wants to try to be the guy, but, you know, you know how Jake is. You know, everybody doesn't have to be Great Millstone. But see, the issue is when you when you when you leave from the uh from the from the, the branch of uh Arya and his fruit and you start going off unto these other people, they don't have the same under they haven't received the same understanding of the gospel. Alright, it's really it's supposed to be in order, man. It's supposed to start from the top of the of the men who are still teaching. All right, still hand on the plow, still going out doing as the scriptures say. And when you start to narrow it down, you understand who who the head of of Israel is through the Spirit. All right, but jumping back through this Ezekiel thirty seven and I was in twenty one. It says, "Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whither they be gone." and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountain of Israel, mountains of Israel. And one king shall be king to them all, and they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. Neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. Yeah, because the Israelites are going to be perfect. They're going to receive that uh, that, that that fleshy heart. All right, a perfect mind. And the elect is going to, the elect and, and all their lineage is going to be immortal too. You know, and one of the gripes, they say, oh, these people aren't exactly here. Yeah, of course, Jake is scattered all throughout the world. You know, that's why we always say too, the 12, 12 tribes uh, scattered. And it was that James said, it through the tribes which are scattered. But yes, you have some hot spots where each tribe is from. You know, you could check out 
because he gives you the blessings of each tribe in Genesis 49. So, you know, you try to narrow down which one, you know, narrow down some of your characteristics matching with, you know, the people of uh, where your, your tribe was put down, put at. All right, of course, Deuteronomy 33 gives uh, certain clues as well. This is Sirach 36 and Eleven, it says, "Gather all the tribes of Jacob together, and inherit unto thou them, as from the beginning." All right? Gather us all, inherit us from the beginning, as from the beginning, and that's what's going on now. All right, birds, birds resort unto the like. who believe the same thing we're gonna we're gonna be found together and that's through the will of Yahweh Bashim I was shy O Lord have mercy upon the people that is called by my thy name and upon Israel whom thou has named thy firstborn O be merciful unto Jerusalem thy holy city the place of thy rest fill Zion with thy unspeakable oracles and thy people with thy glory. Give testimony unto those that have possessed from the, from the beginning and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. And that's what the Lord is doing now. <laughs> that's another prophecy that he said he would he would do. He would send us the, the Holy Spirit. All right. He would send the spirit upon all flesh. Pour his spirit upon all flesh, especially his men who could break down, you know, the visions and the things that they're seeing. Reward them that wait for thee and let thy prophets be found faithful. Yeah. All right, and that's what, what's going on, man. We're waiting on the Lord. So, Lord willing, this is edifying. You know, it's important, you know, to be able to break down what you know. If you got a 12 tribe sign, you should be able to break all of those tribes down. You know, and understand this is why it's written for this. This is why, it, you know, all these different things. You know, because as you can see, vocab is going to come with the angles. And Aria did this and that. You, you don't even know Aria. All right, but we know men who, who knew him personally. Who were taught under him personally for years. <laughs> but all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Shalom to the elect.